Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. It's time for another Sidebar Convo Shop Update. Before I get started, I want to remind everyone that I have a newsletter that you can sign up for. If you're interested, just head over to thecarmichaelworkshop.com and on the right hand side there's a place where you can join and enter your email. And then I'll only email you whenever I upload a new video, which is about once or twice a month. And also I include uh, discount codes from companies uh, where you could save some money on different products. And I thought about doing giveaways there as well. And also it's a good way to keep in touch with me and see what I'm doing here in the shop. If for some reason in the future YouTube goes away or uh, they kick me off for doing something stupid, <laughs> we can still stay in touch. So if you're interested, head over to my website and join my newsletter. In my last project video, I showed how to make a custom Bluetooth speaker. I'll put a link to that video up in case you missed it. Uh, but this is the speaker I made in that video. And I used a Bluetooth speaker kit from PartsExpress.com. Uh, they saw my video and liked it. I put a review on their page of the kit that it was really easy to use. Um, and they ended up giving me a discount code for their website uh, where you can get $5 off a $50 or more order. Uh, the code is CW5, F-I-V-E, um, but unfortunately it appears they've uh, uh, sold out of these Bluetooth speaker kits for the holidays and it looks like they won't get any more in until afterwards, but um, if you want to buy something else or uh, cobble together some other parts that they have to make a speaker kit, uh, you can still use that uh, coupon code up until December 31st of this year, I believe. Um, now. Uh, I designed a few different speakers and intended to make a few different ones to see how they sounded. Uh, this other one here is one I made off camera uh, just to see how it would sound and it has more of a vertical layout. It's a little bit smaller and the speakers are mounted from the outside and it's got a porthole on each side. And I really like the design of this one but unfortunately I don't think it sounds that great. It's definitely not as good as this one. Um, I've got a song going here. Let's hear it. It just kind of sounds kind of boxy. It doesn't have the upper and lower range uh, like this one does. So I'm going to stick with this design. Um, but uh, with this one, I just wanted to show that there's a different way to do portholes other than the tubes. And also that you can mount the speakers from the outside. One other different thing I did is I put the, the LED light on the bottom. Uh, I had read some reviews that said these lights, if you use them like at night in the bedroom when you're going to sleep, uh, they put out really a lot of light and fill the room. So I thought it would be neat to put the light underneath the bottom and have it kind of glow onto the table and just not be so bright in a dark room. But uh, that, those were a couple of different ideas I had there. And this was kind of a prototype that I put together. Um, and one thing I did differently here is I tilted the table on my scroll saw and cut the speaker holes at an angle that would kind of line up with the speaker cones, thinking that the sound would project a wider range. And that's just another idea you could use if you're making your own speaker. A couple of people asked me what I use to draw up my plans for projects. And I use Microsoft Visio just because it's easier for me because I've been using it since, gosh, 1994. Uh, so it's real easy for me to just open up Microsoft Visio, uh, make the document as big as I want, and then I can draw my plan on it. And then I can add additional pages to it that are letter size. And then I basically just copy the whole plan if it's larger than a page and just paste it onto letter size pages and kind of position it so like maybe the upper left portion of it is on one page and then the upper right portion is on the next page and I keep doing that until I kind of tile it across multiple pages so I just can print them out and line them up and tape them together so that's kind of how I do my templates um, let's see if you want to hear more of this speaker I have some demos over on my Instagram uh, me playing a few different songs that people requested and also somebody uh, brought up that I cut these thin strips on the table saw and they liked how I did that. Basically all I did was 
take a board and uh, cut curves into it about an inch deep uh, just run it across vertically and then I laid it down on its side against the fence and then just trimmed off the short strips that I needed the real thin strips for the front of the speaker so so that's how I did that so I didn't show that very well in the video um, but if you go back and look you'll get it a few people have asked where I get the lumber to build my projects and a lot of times I just use the pine cedar things like that that I can get from Lowe's or Home Depot because they're open late hours and I can go after work or on the weekend. If I want to get something a little nicer like maple or cherry, uh, we do have a lumber yard here in North Atlanta. It's called Suwannee Lumber. And the last time I went and picked up these two boards, I shot a little bit of footage to show you here. Um, but they've got a pretty good selection of different thicknesses, uh, different uh, species, uh, mostly domestic stuff, I think and also plywood as well there uh, they have uh, baltic birch and pre-finished plywood and stuff like that too and the prices are pretty good uh, the only thing is they're uh, only open uh, weekdays during the day so the only time i can go is saturdays i think they're open nine to one so i'll put a link to their website in the description below uh, if you're in the area you can check them out i want to send a huge shout out to the folks over at home right I met them at WorkbenchCon earlier this year, and it took me a while to get back to them, but they offered to send me uh, one of their Super Finish Max sprayers, a uh, Lazy Susan turntable I can use to turn my projects while I spray it around all sides, and they even sent me their small spray shelter that I can use here on my workbench. And I'm really looking forward to trying this stuff out. I've never used a sprayer before, uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what I can spray with it. I plan on starting with uh, spraying some water-based poly and I thought about even painting the shop uh, with some latex paint with it. So um, looking forward to doing those projects and those videos will be coming soon and I'll let you know what I think of it. But I'm really looking forward to trying it out. In my last sidebar convo, I mentioned that I've been making some changes to eat healthier, uh, exercise, and lose some weight and that's going well. I've lost about 30 pounds so far, uh, which is great. It does fluctuate some, but it's amazing what a big difference that makes. I can actually bend over and tie my shoes and pick up things off the floor easier. Uh, so uh, when you go to try to lift up 30 pounds, it's like, wow, that's a lot of weight <laughs> that I was carrying around. So, so that's going well, and I'm continuing to make changes. Uh, some of the things I'm working on this month I need to try to go to bed earlier. I usually stay up late at night working on stuff. Um, so I need to make sure I get a full eight hour sleep. And also I need to stop eating at night and have a cutoff time. So that's what I'm working on. And now that the weather's getting cooler, uh, I was walking around the neighborhood for exercise, but uh, we've got a treadmill. And I also just a few days ago bought a used elliptical machine that I'm going to try. And that'll give me something I can do indoors now that it's colder weather. So I can keep up my exercise that way. And I found that just changes in diet and also using an app. I, I use an app called Lose It uh, to track my calories. And man, I had no idea how many calories I was eating, but it, it was a lot. <laughs> so now I'm trying to stick around 2,000 to 2,500 calories. And I'm also seeing a nutritionist every three or four weeks who's helping me uh, make decisions as far as uh, what types of foods and combinations of foods to eat and also how much portion sizes. So, uh, so it's going well and uh, I'm finding that I'm forming some new habits uh, which are going to be great in the long term. Just one more thing before you go. I've really been getting the itch to make another electric guitar. You may have noticed in my Sewanee Lumber footage that I picked up a eight quarter piece of alder that I can use to make some guitar bodies. I think I can squeeze about three or four bodies out of that one board. So that'll be fun to work on. I really want to make a replica of Eddie Van Halen's Frankenstrat guitar. Uh, it's the one that's painted like the tool chest over here, uh, red with black and white stripes. I think that would be a fun project to actually uh, get a Floyd Rose tremolo and uh, maybe get Eddie's signature pickup to put in it and make a, a really good replica. I think that would be fun. Um, but I have a few uh, guitar related channels.
to blame for giving me the bug to make another electric guitar. I'll put links to these channels in the video description below. But if you're into guitar stuff, uh, make sure you check out DIY Gene, Boudreaux Guitars, Highline Guitars, and also Dave's World of Fun Stuff. <laughs> They're putting a lot of great info out there on building guitars, uh, setting them up, uh, taking them apart, putting them together, uh, different types of finishes, and all kinds of info. So it's been fun watching their channels, and they look just like regular guys that would be fun to hang out with too. So, um, so yeah, uh, I've got a new project in the works. Uh, actually, it's in pieces over there, and I need to start putting it together. Uh, but uh, you can watch for that soon. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.